dear children in today's class we are going to learn about economically useful plants and entrepreneurial botany chapter 10 from unit 10 you know very well that domestication of plants and animals has led to the development of human beings and their civilization different people from different parts of the world domesticated different species of plants for various purposes they are called economically important plants based on their utility the economically important plants are classified into food plants fodder plants fiber plants timber plants medicinal plants and plants used in paper industries dyes and cosmetics in this chapter we are going to discuss selected examples of economically important plants for each category firstly let us discuss the food plants currently we are using 10000 food plants but only around 1500 species were brought under cultivation we depend on three grass species namely rice wheat and maize they are called cereals the word cereal is derived from series according to roman mythology series means goddess of agriculture all cereals are the members of the grass family called poaceae these plants have edible starchy seeds let us know why these cereals are given importance in food plants they have greater adaptability and successful colonization on every type of habitat they can adapt easily to every type of habitat this is called colonization the relative ease of cultivation they can be cultivated easily easy a idu payirada mudiyum tillering property that produce more branches which results in higher yield per unit area tillering means neraya branches uruvagirathu so we can get higher yield compact and dry grains that they can be easily handled transported and stored without undergoing spoilage the grains are veena pogama easy a transport pandrathukku store pandrathukku mudiyum high caloric value that provides energy calori adhigama irukum so we can get energy by eating these grains they can provide carbohydrates proteins fibers vitamins and minerals they can be classified into two different types based on their size namely major cereals and minor cereals rice and wheat or major cereals millets that is sirudhaniyangal such as finger millet that is kelvaragu sorghum that is solam or the minor cereals minor millets such as fox tail millet that is thinai kodo millet that is varagu or very small cereals Let us learn the details about rice or paddy. Its botanical name is Oryza sativa. Paddy is a semi-aquatic crop and is grown in standing water. Nilaya thengirikra thannila valara kudiya payirudha in the rice. It occupies the second position in cultivation and production next to wheat. Wheat kaduthu badiya. Rice is an important food crop of the world. Idhila carbohydrate nereya arukku. origin and area of cultivation south east asia is considered as center of origin of rice rice south east asia la thondranada karudapadudu china india and thailand anda kaalathile china india thailand la paddy payiradapattadukana evidences kedachirukku rice is mainly cultivated in delta and irrigated regions of tamil nadu delta ngiradhu ஆறு தன்னோட செடிமெண்ட்ஸை டெபாசிட் பண்ணுற இடம் அது கடலோட க கலக்கிற இடம் இது ட்ரையாங்கிள் ஷேப்பில் இருக்கும் அந்த ரீஜன்லேயும் நீர்ப்பாசன வசதி உள்ள ஏரியாலையும் இந்த ரைஸு நல்லா வளரும் 
let us know the uses of rice rice is the easily digestible calorie rich cereal food which is used as a staple food in southern and north east india southern and north east india la idu oru mukkiyamana food a irukku idu easy a digest aagum stomach problem irukravangalukku inda arisiya lesa varuthittu adala kanji kaachi kudutha avangalukku easy a digest aagum various rice products such as flaked rice that is aval puffed rice or parched rice adavadhu pori they are used as breakfast cereal or as snack food in different parts of india rice bran oil obtained from the rice bran is used in culinary and industrial purposes arisi thavittla thayarikkira enna samayalukku industrial purposes ku use aagudhu husks are used as fuel and in the manufacture of packing material and fertilizer arisi eduth peragu adula umi irukum illaya adha vande fuel aagavum packing things pack pandra material aagavum fertilizer thayarikkavum upayogikkiranga next major cereal is wheat its botanical name is triticum aestivum origin and area of cultivation we got evidences for wheat cultivation in early days from fertile crescent region fertile crescent region na tigris and euphrates rivers ku mathiyila ulla area the common wheat called triticum aestivum is cultivated for about 7500 years adha 7500 varshama idha makkal payir seiranga wheat is mostly cultivated in north indian states such as uttar pradesh punjab haryana rajasthan madhya pradesh and bihar idhilalla adhigama payiradapadudhu now let us know the uses wheat is a staple food in northern india vada india la idu adhigama makkal virumbi saapidranga wheat flour is suitable to make bread and other bakery products bakery products irukku liya cake rusk biscuit cookies ella idhila prepare pandranga processed wheat flour that has little fiber is called maida which is used extensively in making parotta naan and bakery products godumai la irukra naar satta edutha piragu adha padapaduthi maida prepare pandranga adula parotta naan bakery products la namba thayarikka mudiyum inda maida la fiber illadanalayum adha neriya chemicals sekkradanalayum adha saapidrathu udambukku kedudal malted wheat is a major raw material for producing alcoholic beverages and nutritive drinks malted wheat na mulakattna godume adha powder panni adula alcoholic beverages adavadhu madubanangal thayarikkaradhukku nutritive drinks thayarikkaradhukku upayogikkiranga next let us see millets millets na siru dhaniyangal this term is applied to a variety of very small seeds so millets na small seeds palangalathile africa layum asia layum millets payiradapattathu they are gluten free gluten gradu pasai maadhiri oru substance it is a mixture of two proteins it is responsible for elastic texture of duff it causes illness to the people they have less glycemic index adavadhu sakkarai alavu idhila kammiya irukum gluten illadanalayum sakkarai alavu kuriyidu kuraiva irukiradanalayum millets health ku romba nalladhu now let us know about filler mingat that is ragi ragi na kelvaragu idha kocha tamil la kevuru nu kepa nu solluvanga its botanical name is elusin kurakana idhu east africa la irundhu india ku vandhathu it is rich in calcium so it gives strength to our bones it is used as a staple food in southern hilly regions of india these ragi grains are made into porridge and gruel adavadhu kanji kooludala thayarikkiradhukaga indha ragi grains ah use pannuvanga ragi malt is the popular nutrient drink ragi malt ingiradhu vandha or problemana drink it is used as a source of fermented beverages adavadhu nodike vechi thayarikkira drinks la indha ragi upayogapaduthu 
నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఇస్ స్వర్గం ఇట్స్ బొటానికల్ నేమ్ ఇస్ స్వర్గం వల్గే స్వర్గం నా సోళం స్వర్గం ఇస్ నేటివ్ టు ఆఫ్రికా ఆఫ్రికాలేరుంది ఇది వందదు ఇట్ ఈస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద మేజర్ మిల్లెట్స్ ఇన్ ద వర్ల్డ్ అండ్ ఇస్ రిచ్ ఇన్ కాల్షియం అండ్ అయాన్ ఇదల కాల్షియం అయాన్ ரொம்ப அதிகமா இருக்கு ఇట్ ఇస్ ఫెడ్ టు పౌల్ట్రీ బర్డ్స్ పిగ్స్ అండ్ కాటిల్ ఇది మాదిరి పరవేగలకు కాల్నడేగలకు ఇది ఉనవా కొడుకరాంగ ఇట్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో ఏ సోర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫర్మెంటెడ్ ఆల్కోహాలిక్ బెవరేజ్ మధుబానం తయారికము ఇది ఉపయోగించరాంగ as i already told minor millets are very small cereals fox tail millet and kodu millet are the examples for minor millets botanical name of fox tail millet is ceteria italica in tamil it is called thinai it is traditionally used in india it was domesticated first in china about 6000 years ago it is rich in protein carbohydrate vitamin b and c potassium and calcium it supports strengthening of heart and improves eyesight thinai porridge is given to lactating mother adavadu paal kudukra thaimargalukku thinaiya kanjiya kaachi kudupanga kodu millet is called varagu its botanical name is paspalum scrobiculatum idu west africa la irundhu thondriyathu it is rich in fiber protein and minerals kodu millet is ground into flour and used to make pudding adavadhu idha maava arachi idha kaliya kinduvaanga good diuretic and cures constipation idhu vandu sirneer urine perukum it cures constipation also malachikalaiyum pokum it helps to reduce obesity adhu udal edaiya udal barumana korakkum blood sugar blood pressure yum korakkum pulses parpu vagigal the word pulse is derived from the latin word pulse or pultis meaning thick soup these are the edible seeds they are produced from plants belong to fabaceae family they are rich in plant based protein vitamins and minerals the three pulses namely black gram red gram and green gram which we are going to learn about where originated in india let us see one by one black gram the botanical name of black gram that is ulundu is vigna mungo it was cultivated 3500 years ago in india it is cultivated as a rain fed crop in drier parts of india rain fed crop na manavari payir adavadhu malaiya mattume thannikaga nambi irukum 80% of the global production of black gram is contributed from india only mainly uttar pradesh chhattisgarh and karnataka are the important states growing black gram in the ulunda mulu ulundavo odacho illa vega vecho illa varutho illa maavakiyo saapiduvanga black gram batter is a major ingredients for the preparation of popular southern indian breakfast dishes அதாவது இந்தியாவில் காலையில் பிரேக்ஃபாஸ்ட்டுக்கு பிளாக் கிராம் பேட்டரை யூஸ் பண்ணுறாங்க அதாவது உளுந்து மாவை யூஸ் பண்ணுவாங்க ஸ்பிளிட் பல்ஸ் இஸ் யூஸ்ட் இன் சீசனிங் இன் இண்டியன் கரீஸ் அதாவது இந்தியாவில் தாளிக்கிறதுக்கு சீசனிங் தான் தாளிக்கிறது தாளிக்கிறதுக்கு இந்த உடச்ச உளுந்த உபயோகிப்பாங்க நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் ரெட் கிராம் தட் இஸ் பிஜிஎன்பி இன் தமிழ் இட் இஸ் கால் துவரம்பருப்பு இட்ஸ் பொட்டானிக்கல் நேம் இஸ் கஜானஸ் கஜன் It is mainly grown in states of Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka and Gujarat. It is a major ingredient of sambar. We have sambar in the southern India. We have sambar in the red gram. We have sambar in the red gram. We have sambar in the red gram. Roasted seeds are consumed either salted or unsalted. We have to use the red gram. 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 இதோடைய யங் பாட்ஸ் அதாவது இளம் இளம் காய்களை அப்படியே வேக வச்சு சாப்பிடுவாங்க நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் கிரீன் கிராம் தட் இஸ் பாசிப்பயிறு இட்ஸ் பொட்டானிக்கல் நேம் இஸ் விக்னா ரேடியேட்டா ஏர்லி டேஸில் மகாராஷ்டிராவில் இது விளைஞ்சதுக்கான எவிடன்ஸ் இருக்குது இட் இஸ் கல்டிவேட்டட் இன் மத்திய பிரதேஷ் கர்நாடகா அண்ட் தமிழ்நாடு 
இந்த பருப்பையும் வருத்தோ இல்லை வேக வச்சோ இல்லை முளைக்கட்டியோ சாப்பிடுவாங்க பொங்கல் ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணுறதுக்கு இந்த கிரீன் கிராமை யூஸ் பண்ணுவாங்க வறுத்து தோல் நீக்கப்பட்ட இல்லை உடச்ச இல்லை முழு கிரீன் கிராமை ஸ்நாக்ஸாக சாப்பிடுவாங்க இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ட்ரெடிஷ்னலி யூஸ்ட் அஸ் காஸ்மெட்டிக் அதாவது ஸ்கின்னுக்கு இதை உபயோகிப்பாங்க இந்த கிரீன் கிராமை உடம்புக்கு தேய்ச்சி குளிக்க உபயோகிப்பாங்க